What do we have here? These are certified copy of the Saddam Hussein prints that were taken when he was arrested in Iraq. Holy <laughs> Is it legal to own these? Uh... What do we have here? These are a certified copy of the Saddam Hussein prints that were taken when he was arrested in Iraq. The originals are in the FBI vaults, but there's 44 original certified copies. Where did you get these? I was an FBI agent, so I was over there, and they gave all the agents a certified copy when they left. OK. Um, definitely something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell my certified copy of the Saddam Hussein fingerprints. I thought, you know, if I could sell the prints and take the money and do something special with my wife and my family, that might be kind of fun. I've had some people say these are worth a lot of money, like thousands and thousands of dollars. This guy basically did whatever he wanted and someone disagreed with him, he just shot him? It's hard to get in somebody's head like that, you know what I mean? You know what happens to us for like 30 years, he never left Iraq. So he starts thinking the whole world centers around Iraq and he starts to think that he's the prime minister of the world or something. Saddam Hussein was a bad guy. He became president of Iraq in 1979 and stayed in power as a brutal dictator until the U.S. overthrew him in 2003. Were you there the day he was captured? Yeah, I was in Iraq. He still felt like it was his country, he was the ruler, and that we were infringing upon Iraq's sovereignty. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed that he actually even signed it. He wouldn't sign it until it was fingerprinted. I guess he thought we were gonna switch a rule like we put somebody else's fingerprints on there. Super paranoid. Normally, I don't buy memorabilia that has something to do with really bad people. But this represents a major victory for US Armed Forces, and that's pretty cool. But still, putting a price on something so creepy won't be easy. You know, it's got to be worth money to someone. I don't know how to put a price on it, and I don't know anybody to call. I've always thought the best buyer would be some Kuwaiti sheik. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my best offer. I'll give you 1,500 bucks. You can make a deal there, otherwise it's just not gonna happen. I think if it was an auction and there was a guy who collected war memorabilia, something like this might be attractive to him and they might get upwards of, you know, $10,000. Um, maybe you could get it, but I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. Sentimentally, it's worth more to me than that, so. Well, um, thanks for bringing it in. It was okay. pretty neat. Yeah, thank okay. you. Have a nice it was day. pleasure. Well, we weren't able to make a deal today. I'll probably just hang on to them. For now, they'll probably just go back up on the wall in my office.